Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Online Electronic Store. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I am using is the PHP version 7 and MySQL version is 5.6. And I am using the Jam server for running this project. But if you have WAMP server, then you can run this project on WAMP server too. All right. So for front-end technology, so front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like for form validations, integration of the date calendars, integration of the uh, drop-down menus, and for many more things, I have used the jQuery plugins. So these are all technology stacks I have used for developing this project online electronic store. <coughs> so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project, what the functionality it contains. So let's start. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a home page and this all products are coming from the database. Currently we have added 10 products in the database. So these 10 products are coming. But if you want to add more, then you can add directly from the database. This is a mini project. So it contains only and only customer functionality. So customer can register, customer can log in, customer can add the products, customer can make the payments, customer can see his payment history order history right there is no admin available inside this project because it's a mini project in mini project we don't provide the two level login based system right so that's why that's why it contains only a single role system that is the admin so this is sorry that is the customer so this is the home page of the project you can say this is the home page right this is about the project this is a static page if you want to change the content then you can change directly from the about.php and that content will be updated and it will be rendered here this is all electronic items so this is all electronic items right if you want to see detail do you see the details just click on that electronic items you will be able to see the details right this is all companies if you want to filter out the records according to the company then you can click on the all companies if you click on that company then all of the record will be filtered out according to company id right so this company details are also coming from the database this is all types if you filter out the record according to the type means if you want to uh, see all the TVs, if you want to buy appliances or computers, then it will be rendered according to your types. This is the login. This is the login for the customer. There is no admin login. So customer can log in and customer can operate, perform certain operation. Customer can buy the products, see his order history, and he can also make the payment. This is a registration form. form. So from if you don't have the user ID and password, then you can log in you can register from here and after that after registering from this form you will be able to log in with your user id and password this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database when i am not sending any type of email and sms so let's start with the login so the user id is admin sorry customer and the password is test once you log inside the session you will get the dashboard so this is the dashboard Customer can perform these operations, right? So one of these the my orders. Customer can see all of the order details. If you click on the view details, he will be able to see the what the appliance he has ordered, right? This is the order history and the order item details and total item the customer has paid. This is the my account from here. Here, customer can update his account details. And this is a change password from here. Customer can update his account password, and after that, he will be able to log in with his updated password now i am going to order some of the products so i am going to order this one you see <coughs> add it into the cart and add place order right so total amount you need to pay is twenty thousand rupees the card number you need to enter right anything this is a static page that is, this is not a real time payment gateway so enter any of the value what you want so the expiry date of the card and the cv number and once you click on the make payment you will get the details of that order right so 20 the amount is 20,000 rupees. Now, if you want to see the orders, just click on the my orders and after that, click on that page. So this is a 15th May. Once you click on the view details, you will be able to see the details of that order, <coughs> right? So on this way, you can uh, select the item, you can add it into the cart and you can make the payment. And after that, uh, you can also delete the items from the cart too. So you can see this is the, right? So you can read the item from cart to right. So this is the full functionality I have developed inside this project, right? This is a logout button. Once you click on the logout, then above administration menu will not be displayed like my account, my 
password change password and i orders because this is a session driven menu and it renders according to the session so let me show you so you can see it's not coming if i log in then it's coming right right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project as you told you earlier this is a php and mysql web based mini dbms project which contains only and only customer functionality right if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much